Hello and welcome to a brand new tutorial and today in this tutorial it's another festive one um we're gonna be making a really nice Christmas tree so today I'm back in my old box here my old um, Dell box um, because of my screen recording issues with my Mac I've had to resort back to here just for this last festive tutorial maybe one other um, until I get until Christmas comes basically and then I'll have enough money to purchase a new screen recorder because the old one was absolutely terrible and I'm hopefully getting a re refund so um, let's begin okay so today again we're making a Christmas tree so go to file the size can be whatever you like. I'll go 800 by 800. And select our fill bucket tool. And we want to fill the background colour a deep, deepish, like night sky blue. Something like. I'll just go something like that. I'll probably change it later, but anyway, so create a new layer now. Now we're going to grab our left rectangle select tool and ensure that it's got a fixed, take the fixed here, aspect ratio, and we're simply going to drag a huge square like so, and we're going to fill it in with a green, so a Christmas green, so we'll get something like, I'm happy with that, and fill that in, uh, maybe a bit lighter. There we go, that's the green I was looking for. Do I still have things? It's a little bit lighter still. There we go, that's the green Christmas green I was looking for. Now we want to cut this in half to make our square, uh, sorry, our triangles for our Christmas tree. So grab your lasso tool and we're simply going to click drag to the corners and then just fill in a box like so then go to edit cut select none then get our rotate tool and we're going to rotate this minus 45 degrees rotate there we go. Now we're going to hide this layer and we're going to uh, duplicate it. Sorry, duplicate it and unhide that one. And this is going to be uh, the tip of our Christmas tree. So don't forget to hit the chain here, and we're just going to scale it down using our scale tool into something that you would like. And then get our move tool, move it like so. Now repeat the process each time giving the base a bigger getting a bigger shape like so and Okay, so I have made all my layers of my Christmas tree. Uh, go away, screen. Anyway, so I've made all my layers of my Christmas tree, and now I um, basically can. 
Oh yeah, sorry, make the base. Just got um, distracted then. Okay, so with all our layers of Christmas tree, we're just gonna merge these all down. Like so. And depending on how big you want your tree, you can do many as many tiers of triangles as you would like. So create a new layer, we're gonna make the trunk now. And put that underneath, select our square, our rectangle select tool, and ensure rounded corners is checked. And we want them set on like 20. Yeah. And then you can make your square to how you like it. And fill it in with a nice browny colour. So like what happened with that? Click fill, select no. And there we have a very simple Christmas tree, but let's add just a few more effects. So the thing that I did firstly was, um, sorry, originally, I made a new layer just above the um, festive trees here, and I got a, sorry, select none. I got my rectangle select tool, and unchecked rounded corners and fixed ratio, and I made a, a um, rectangle like so, and I'm gonna fill it in with the original green colour. Quick fill. Select none. What we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate this layer and on the bottom layer we're going to rotate it on a particular angle. And put it over like that. Then set the mode to overlay. And now we're giving our shape some stripes. So to do to continue all this, you can duplicate this again and move it down. And move it down. And simply keep on doing this procedure until your whole shape is full. So we can probably space that out just a tad more. No, go. Just on the tip. There we go. And now we're going to merge these all down. Wait, no. Um, what we can do with these, we can just go alpha 2 selection on our trunk, then go select, invert, and we can go edit cut on all of your layers. And now you can click select none. So there we have our stripes for our Christmas tree. So the next set of stripes we're gonna do is for our trunk. So we want to do, uh, make a new layer above our trunk and we're going to do the same thing. And fill it in with that brown. Like so, select and rotate it again ensuring when we rotate it it's on a similar angle to the, the um, leaves of our tree and we're going to move it up here and duplicate and move it here and then set these both on the overlay duplicate one more time and just move it like so 
and then of course I have to choose selection edit in, uh, sorry select invert and then edit cut edit cut and of course edit cut select and there we have our trunk finished now for the last effects I'm going to create a new layer over the top of everything and I'm going to grab my paintbrush and set it on a bright bright yellow and I'm going to control my brush size is on the softest and I'm simply going to paint some Christmas stars in the sky and you can up the size to bigger like so with our Christmas tree and then you can also add a small shadow under here, so that's the new layer here. And I'll grab our rectangle, our uh, oval, so clip, lips, whatever. So that tool, fill it in with that. Select none. And there we have a nice shadow under our Christmas tree. And with our Christmas tree, you can also add some nice decoration. So, a new layer on top of everything. And you can again grab your paintbrush tool, select a nice red for some balls, Christmas red, and you can just paint some coloured balls on your tree. And you can do so with different colours, etc. Um, but I'm just going to leave mine like that. I like the way that looks. Um, so guys, a final effect you can do is also to add a gradient for our background. So again, you can, I'm going to use that blue again for my top section of my sky here. And then I'll have a lighter blue. grab my gradient tool and I'll simply hold in control or command for a moment and go like that and there we have my festive Christmas tree in GIMP um, thanks for watching this will be the last of the festive tutorials for this year and I'll catch you in my next video bye